Hi, welcome to Anybody Who Ain't Anybody. My name is Tim Zaykowski, and today we are on stage at Mark Ridley's Comedy Castle in Royal Oak, Michigan, and I'm sitting here with a good buddy of mine, a regular at the Riviera in Las Vegas, a uh, very funny guy, Bill Hildebrand. Thanks for being on the show. Another nobody. Thank you. Another nobody. It's yeah. a long list of nobodies. And every one of them seems to show up here. <laughs> What's happening? You're headlining at Mark Ridley's yeah, this weekend? Yeah, beautiful Mark Ridley's Comedy Castle. It's the comedy mecca here in Michigan. Uh, yeah, in a lot of places, too. Yeah. yeah, I think from New York to maybe Chicago, I think this is the big boy. Yeah, I think so. You know, maybe St. Louis, that sort of thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and Mark's a very gracious guy. I said, absolutely, come on in. Sit down so with Bill. I'm pretty sure he's behind the curtain listening to us. And so. what, was I, <laughs> what was I thinking? Unbelievable. So now what, uh, what you been doing, man? So working. How about you? I have not been working. I've been filming this TV show. Yeah, well, That's what a I've fine been doing. show it is. But I, I mean, like tomorrow night, I'll be at the Masonic Temple, downtown Detroit. Yeah. And uh, interviewing with uh, the Detroit Roller Derbies, having their playoff series tomorrow night. So John and I will be there. I heard that on network news yesterday. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you know what? It's been fun. And there's a, one of the skaters is Amphetamine. No, get out of I Dodge. I swear to God. Amphetamine. Amphetamine. Melba Toast is on there, I'm Another sure. Another one is... Uh, Lotta Top. Uh, Tara Armoff. Christy Valley, Tara Armoff. Yeah. Okay, for... Yeah. I said, you know, uh, Robin Drugstores. It's hysterical, you know. And you sit, they sit down with me for some reason and, you know, just shoot the breeze and, you know. I think I might have uh, 10, 12 of those interviews. Really? Yeah. Well. Yeah, so... How do those go? They're fun. Okay. How rude can we be? I forgot what the, what the rules well, are. It's cable. Right. There's, yeah. You know, but so is uh, A&E, and when the Sopranos are on, they edit some stuff. Oh, okay. Right? Oh, yeah. 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 So it's still cable, but, All right. you know, so kind of kind of keep it clean, but you know, tell, tell your story. Do what you got to do. All right. Been doing a lot of traveling. Where you been? And, yeah, you, she, I was in uh, a month ago, I was, uh, took a ship from a uh, cruise ship because that's where the work's at. Uh, I took a cruise ship from New York to uh, the Azores. Azores? Where's that? And that's just outside Portugal. It's actually part no of Portugal. No way! Right oh, that far over there. Yeah, then they, uh, so I had to get off the ship there because I was on for five days and they flew me from uh, the Azores to Portugal, Portugal to France, to Paris, then Paris to Detroit. How much time did you spend in Paris? About six hours. About six hours. Yeah. Oh, did you yeah. leave the airport? Huh? No. No. No, but you should see the airport. You take, I have. You take like, uh, you know, this killer mall over here yeah. on Big Beaver, add some airplanes, <laughs> and that's the Paris airport. The place is huge. Well, the Beautiful. airports in Europe, they have train stations, bus stations. Uh, it, it's, it's a communication, I mean, travel central. Yeah, so you can get, on, get off a plane and get on a train and go anywhere. Yeah. But then people find, when they find out you're from the United States, you know, they, 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 they want to razz you about it. We are, we are just a giant joke. It's, it's and, hilarious. And it was like that the first time I ran into this guy from Ireland and he says, oh, you're from the United States. He, says, he goes, I just heard a good joke. He says, did you hear about, did you hear about the two U.S. guys? Oh, I just screwed it up. Thanks. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> Holy crap. Where do I find these guys? <laughs> did, uh, did you hear about the two U.S. citizens and the white guy? That was the joke. <laughs> <laughs> that was the joke. <laughs> uh, it was yeah, better so when you screwed it up. We're having a lot of fun at our uh, expense. That's nice. But that's that was nice. the joke. We interrupt this regularly scheduled program to bring you a little information on what it is about Mark Ridley that so many stand-up comedians respect so much. Take a look at a picture of Jay Leno. This is a headshot taken. He couldn't have been 13 years old. Long before NBC had any idea who Jay Leno was, Mark Ridley brought him to his room. Jerry Seinfeld. Look at him. Obviously, this picture was taken at his bar mitzvah. I've never seen him this young before. Mark knows talent when he sees it. <laughs> Ron White. Always been a little off. This picture is obviously taken back when Ron's liver was still pink. What we're going to do is we're going to bring you some more of these headshots and the people who have come to Mark Ridley's Comedy Castle 25, 30 years ago. But now, back to Bill Hildebrand. 
That's nice. So, um, <laughs> where some of your, you, you spent some time in Alaska? And I think I actually, yeah, I'm going back there in two days. Oh, really? I, I leave Sunday morning, yeah. And yeah. for how long? I think I actually called you from like Bogota, South America, didn't I? Mm -hmm. Bogota, Colombia, asking you how you get around when people don't speak the language. Right, right, right. He said, how did you get around in China? Yeah. Because in China, the, you know, in Europe and probably in Bogota, they use the same letters we do. Yeah. Yeah, in well, China, China they, yeah, they do, they it's do all, nothing. You know, that yeah. stuff. You know, and you can't even <laughs> match it up on a, you can't look at a, a map and match it up with a street sign. It just doesn't work. Now, and the ship. Uh, how many shows will you do in a week? Two. Two shows? How, how long a show? Uh, one's maybe 40 and the other's 30. So you're working like an hour, hour and 10 minutes a week? Nobody works less than I do. I'm the most hated guy on the boat. Because the other knuckleheads, like the, the, the magicians and sometimes, you know, the jugglers and stuff, they've yeah. all got rehearsal. Because they got music cues and all this stuff and they got lights. Oh, I don't have any of that crap. No, you just walk up there and start talking and when you're done, you leave. Yep. Punch out and go back to my room. That's fun, man. I know, That's but I'm cool. trying not to spread the word around. I don't need a lot of people trying to get that work. <laughs> well, you I'm trying to keep it on the hush hush that it's that yeah, cool. Yeah, so there'll be about nine people. Every time this somebody show. asks about the ships, like, oh man, they just oh, eat it's the terrible. crap out of you. Oh yeah. And the food isn't anywhere near as good oh, as they say. Oh they make you eat the fish head soup with the other Filipinos <laughs> in the bottom. It's, you know, yeah, it's horrible. <laughs> You know, and those rotten yeah. duck and eggs it, that they eat and shit. Oh, yeah, you that's, know, that's and you got to be down in the bottom of the boat oh, in the bow you got, no. with them. No. You got any more gigs in Vegas coming up? What's happening? No, I don't. I haven't heard from those guys. Things have been quiet. I, they're having a hard time there, you know, with the economy being there. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Things, things are really iffy there, so I don't know what's going on with Vegas. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me if they went down to a couple of comics rather than three. And, yeah, yeah, you yeah know, that's probably doing that, what they're doing. That kind of thing. Yeah, we've had some fun out in Vegas. Yeah. Been out there a couple, three times with you. Yeah, that was fun. Kind of hanging around and... Uh, I remember going on that roller coaster on top of the uh, New York, New York, <laughs> and I'm holding on for dear life, and you're just going, what, there's no big deal here. Well, you know, we get on the roller coaster there, and, you know, and I say, yeah, Tim, let's go do this, you know, and Tim's just like, he's just trudging along behind me, and we get into the thing, we finally get locked in, you know, and he's sitting next to me, and I turn to him, I go, is this something you would normally do? And he's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> but it's too late. No, he's got the thing over his shoulder. It's no. too late to change minds, yeah. Here we go, and Andrew. You know, you're holding on to that thing, and we just beat the crap out of each other, you know, out of yourself, because there's no, there's no shot. Yeah, the thing comes know. down in front of you. And I could remember just pounding my head, being pounded by my fist, because it rattles so. And this is on top of the building. Yeah. And it goes and off. Through the building and, and over it goes, the Yeah, it goes off over the side of the building yep. and comes back around. But then, I got actually, I have a picture. They actually take a, a picture of right, it. Right, right, I, right, I, right. I bought a picture of that. Oh, yeah, you turned. And you, you, you got this, <laughs> I know, thanks. And you got this big grin on your face, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm scared out of my mind, you know. Hi, we're back with the headshot portion of our show with an obvious fourth grade picture of Dana Carvey. This is probably 35 years before we heard the lovely phrase, party on Garth, party on Wayne. Rita Rudner, among the funniest women in the world, one of the things Bill Hildebrand was talking about during the show was Rita Rudner in Las Vegas. She rents her own room, sells out every night. Drew Carey, silliest man in show business. One of the real popular comics uh, back in the day. Uh, I've heard stories about from Bill Hildebrand, Leo DeFore, different comics. As Drew would come to town, there'd be a party anywhere that he would perform. Thank you, Bill, for being on the show. Thanks. Bill man. Hildebrand, my right. very dear friend. Uh, thank you for watching, which I have no idea why you'd be doing that. And the entire technical staff. And the entire staff, John Magri. John. Behind the camera. <laughs> yeah, he raised his hands. All I see is two wool of white sleeves. It's dark back there. <laughs> thank you, John. Thank you for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. All right. And fade to black. Two, three, and out. Okay. <laughs>